Welcome to the show. I'm your host, Frank Hope. Uh, Melissa, that was great. Thanks. That's what you call a star-studded show, yeah, right? Yeah, right. totally star-studded. Star-studded. That's yep. a good word for it, right, David? Star-studded. Right. Okay. Um, all right, uh, David, uh, co-host is with us once again. Uh, why don't we bring out our first guest, who we're very excited to have. Uh, you'll know her from all sorts of TV shows, but particularly uh, Suddenly Susan. Very funny on that program. Uh, please welcome Ms. Kathy Griffin. <laughs> Welcome, nice to meet you. I'm Hi, Hi, so nice to meet you. Hi, nice to meet you. Hey, David. There we go. Okay. Uh, now, I mentioned uh, Suddenly Susan, mm -hmm. and we actually have a photograph of uh, oh, the, the whole gang picture. here. On the cable car. There we go. <laughs> and now, more uh, precious. Maybe you can just uh, tell us who everyone is here, for those who might not know. That's Kathy Griffin, who plays Vicky. Very funny. Um, <laughs> Judd Nelson, who plays the um, boss of the newspaper. Brooke Shields, who plays Susan. David Strickland, who plays Todd. Barbara Berry, who plays Nana. And Nesta Carbonell, who plays Luis. Great. Yeah, they're all wonderful. A good group. It, it looks good like, group of yeah. kids. It looks like you're all having a great time there. Yeah. Uh, but, uh, you know, actually, I should ask you, Ms. Griffin, we mm -hmm. have a lot of guests that come on and they show the cast and they, they say everyone has a great time. But is yeah. that really true? I mean, do you really have a good time? At well, here's the thing. It's true that we're all friendly and we have a good time and everything. But I sort of wish it wasn't that way. You know what I mean? I wish that I was on a scandalous set. You know what I mean? Where there was all sorts of backstage bedlam going on, you know? And you would go into Brooke Shields' dressing room and you open it up and there's she and Andre Agassi are having a huge fight and she's screaming, it's tennis or me, choose. And he says, I can't. And he throws a tennis racket. And then you go to Judd Nelson's room and you open it up and he's in there with all the hookers and the cocaine going, bye Heidi. And then you go to David Nestor's room and they're playing Russian roulette like in the Deer Hunter going, mow, mow, like that. And you close the door and you the gunshot. Ah! And then you you go to Barbara Berry's room and they're taking her off to rehab. And then you go to my dressing room and I'm just sitting there with a halo going over my lines. Oh. <laughs> oh, I'm the perfect one. That's great. That's my fantasy. Now, actually, I noticed on this photo they actually have you outside of the car here. They didn't uh, let you in there with no, them? No, uh, I was... <laughs> <laughs> they didn't know me very well then, and it was just stay, out sto stay outside, Stay Kathy. outside, yeah. okay. Uh, now, M-Y-O-B. M-Y-O-B. Mind your own business, business. Okay. what they would yeah. say. Mm -hmm. Very educational program today. We're learning... Uh, exactly. Uh, okay. Now, you, uh, now, before you were an actress, you had uh -huh. different jobs, and I understand you actually worked in a pie place. I worked in right? a pie restaurant. A pie establishment, as you would say, David. <laughs> and um, I uh, was the busboy because, you know, you have to work there for a while before they let you okay. be a waitress, okay. which is a very big honor. Okay. And um, so I was the busboy and I was the new busboy. So this one old lady came in because it, it catered to a lot of, you know, geriatric types because okay. they had specials. All right. So this woman comes in and you know how old people get all dressed up just to go to the pie shop? <laughs> so she had like the hat and the purse and everything. And she goes in and she has a piece of peach pie and she finishes it. And she puts it on her fork, and with no, like, really reaction at all, just pukes it right back up. Oh. But you know, like, when you puke, you know, it's kind of horrible and scary, and you get sweaty and you think you're dying? She just goes like this. She finishes, and she goes, bleh, 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 bleh. And then she's done puking. And I watched it. I was like, God, that didn't phase her one bit. So then, um, they... Now, did she uh, chew it back up like a cat? Did she, like, uh, pick it up? God, oh, Frank. I don't know. I wish. Oh. Um, no, but then, of course, they're like, Hey, where's the new bus boy? And so then oh. I had to clean it up. Yeah. Oh. All right. well, I know. So acting's much better than working in the pie shop. Yeah, uh, it's way better. But they hardly ever puke over to Lisa's. Wow. So okay. it's pretty lucky. Uh, well, now, please uh, stay with us. We'd like mm -hmm. to bring out our next guest. We I want to meet the Odd uh, Well, you're going to love this. Uh, please welcome the Double Dutch Divas. <laughs>
Excellent. Wow. Now, uh, now, I, who is everybody? Yeah, please tell us your name and your age and where you're from and all that stuff. I'm Faith, and I'm 35 years old from Manhattan. Okay. I'm Spice. I'm from New Jersey, and I'm 40. I'm Di. I'm 39. I'm Sassy, and I'm 42. I'm Spirit, and I'm 47. My diva name is Hart, and I'm only 45. <laughs> wow. Okay. Wow. Something that uh, younger people do, but you you've been doing this uh, for for a while, right? You've, you've how long have you all known each other? Seventeen years. Seventeen years. Wow. wow. And now, how were you? Uh, I know you were discovered in a park, right? Uh, by uh, by an Italian uh, TV station or something? RAI TV. But well, we were jumping already when when they saw us in the park. Okay. And they took us to Italy. Wow. And the uh, the Italian thing was all expenses paid, right? Oh, yes. uh, that's, that's especially good. <laughs> right. Okay. Uh, all right. Well, everybody, uh, stay with us. We have uh, some great stuff coming up. Uh, we have a guy who's going to stick a nail up his nose, and uh, we're going to have a tug of war with a guy's neck. So don't go away. <laughs> Okay, we're back with the show. Uh, Miss Griffin, everything going okay? Oh, I love seeing the puppets jump. Okay. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> and you love seeing the double Dutch divas jump, too. Oh, sure, fabulous. Right? Yes, okay. World global. Global, right. Uh, Melissa, everything okay? Everything's great, yeah. Great. All right, well, let's bring out our next guest. Uh, we're very excited to have, please welcome Mr. Jeff Bartlett. And, uh, Hi. And, uh, Double Dutch Davis. There we go. Uh, now, uh, you're from where? Uh, uh, Connecticut, a real small town in Connecticut. A real small town. Now, how do you like that uh, life in the small town? Uh, Not fun. Not fun? <laughs> okay. No. Uh, what, what do you do for fun in the town? Uh, this. This? Uh, with this. the hammer? Okay. Yeah, uh, you'll well, see what I do for fun. Uh, maybe you can explain uh, what, uh, is there a movie theater in town or something? Or no, you don't? Uh, no, there's nothing in town, actually. <laughs> okay, so you do At this. All. Um, all right, so, yeah. and, and what is uh, this? Okay, I'm, I'm what's known as a human blockhead, which means I can hammer nails into my face through my nostrils. <laughs> Melissa, you can explain what that means. Yes, what he is about to do is very, very dangerous. Please do not shove anything up your nose at home. Okay. Don't do it. Right. So, uh, uh, well, uh, there goes my right. Friday. Oh, there. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Right, so, we'll say that for later. I'll finish that. But start off with this. Okay. This is a real nail. You can touch it, but it's been in my nose, so it's your discretion I'm, whether you want to touch it or not. Do you want to touch that, Miss? It's not retractable. Uh, no. It's a real nail. This well, is a real hammer. Real hammer. I'm Seems getting like a little a real nervous. Deal. Okay. <laughs> All right. This is the later part. Uh, yeah, that was um, that nail is about three and a half inches long. This is four inches long. This is a novelty safety pin I found, and uh, I found a use for it. <laughs> so it's a little bit harder. Get a good look at that. Uh, we have room over there? Okay. Hopefully. Everybody's set. Okay. Well, now, please uh, stay with us, Mr. Bartlett. We'd like to bring our next guest, if we may. Um, uh, we're very happy to have uh, this gentleman as well. Uh, please welcome Mr. Stanless Steele. <laughs> Hi, Mr. Steele. Uh, now, you are uh, quite a strong guy. That's right. In fact, it says on your shirt, Stanless Steele professional strongman, right? Okay, and you're able to do uh, your professional feats because you have a lot of uh, inner strength, is that right? That's right, I control the entrance to the doorway to my inner mind strength. Wow, okay. I'm master at it. All right, and you can uh, show us an example of what you use that inner strength for. Yeah, well I have this here chain, it's uh, number eight Jack, Jack, Jack chain, Campbell chain, and it's industrial, and it's uh, 
it can withstand a lot of power. I'm going to try to pull this apart by hand for you right now. Is yeah. that right? Can we just make sure this yeah. is uh, legit? I mean, I, I don't really yeah. doubt you, Mr. Steel, but... Right? Very, yeah, very strong. Very strong chain. Pretty strong. sure it's chain. Okay. Yeah. All right. There we go. <clears throat> Uh, now there's something else you can do. I, I, we have the uh, rope here. Yeah. And uh, what what is this involved? I'm gonna let you and uh, play tug of war on my neck. I'm gonna wrap it around my neck once, and I'll have both of you pull us with all the force that you have. Around your neck. Around my neck. <laughs> What Stan's about to do is very, very dangerous, so <laughs> don't do it at home. Okay. Um, all right, now. Yeah, I don't want any kids ever to try this, please. I want to show that my strength is <coughs> internal, and I don't want any kids ever try this. You could break your windpipe and kill you. Okay. Okay. Uh, all right, Miss Griffin, you want to help us out with this? Uh, yes. Uh, when I tell you to pull. <clears throat> You'll do so on command and let go when I tell you to, okay? You don't have to be so bossy. <laughs> <laughs> now? Okay. Oh. Oh. oh, are you okay? <clears throat> okay. Oh. Oh. I was really playing hard. Please stay with us, uh, Mr. Stanley Steele. Uh, just great. Melissa, can you tell us what's coming up? Sure, we have a gothic belly dancer, a six-month-old baby, and the music of Blink-182, so stay with us. What a great show today, and the best part is we're just getting started. Right, Ms. Griffin? Absolutely. Just, just getting started. Okay. Um, all right. Well, please, let's welcome our next guest, uh, Mr. Tony Saranopoulos. Uh, yeah, you've actually been uh, dancing for a number of years, right? 25 years. Okay, but it's only recently that you've begun sharing it with others. Okay, uh, how recently did you start sharing it? like two years. Two years? Okay, so this is kind of a treat that we're getting to see something yes. that was so many years in the making, uh, I guess, right? Um, okay, well, let's please uh, welcome our next guest. Uh, we're very happy to have. Uh, please welcome Carmen and Nisida Spera. Uh, 
carbon. That's right. And this is Nisida. That's correct. Okay, and how old is uh, Nisida? Uh, six months yesterday. Six months yesterday. Happy birthday. Okay, and uh, now this is your uh, daughter, yes. obviously, right? And uh, you two have developed a certain talent together. That's correct. And uh, uh, you want to share that with us? Sure. This is Nisida. Come on, Nisida, let's do it. Ernestina. Come on. <laughs> She's a little shy. Oh. There we go, here we go. One, oh. two, oh. ah. Oh. squeeze in a little tighter there. Okay. Uh, now, uh, now, Carmen, you are actually uh, an artist. That's that right? correct. And uh, what kind of art uh, do you do? I'm a painter and a sculptor. Oh, and I, uh, I show in Soho and uh, live in Little Italy. All right. And uh, now, how long have you been doing this with uh, uh, Nisa? For a few months. A few months. And she seems to really uh, enjoy it. She does. Wow. Well, it's a good thing. I mean, if she didn't enjoy it, it would probably be a horrible thing, I guess. Uh, um, all right. Well, please uh, stay with us. So okay. we want to bring out our band, and this is going to be a lot of fun. Uh, you're going to like this one, Nisa. This is uh, <laughs> okay. Um, all right. They're going to be doing this song, uh, Damn It, from the album Dude Ranch. Uh, please welcome from San Diego, Blink 182. <laughs> 